What's up, YouTube? Today I thought I'd get on and maybe show y'all how to design a band t-shirt. I'm thinking ACDC uh, for this one, so you can jump into their website and see what they have available for merch. Maybe pick one and redesign one, or maybe just pick a couple and then kind of build our own. But before we jump on, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share. Without further ado, let's go jump into Photoshop. All right, so before we start, let's go and check out ACDC's website, see what they have available for t-shirts. That's a cool intro. Here we go. ACDC, this is kind of fresh. See what y'all got. See what y'all got. Overall, it's cool. I mean, I just see the same design repeated throughout the site. Different items, the tote and then the mask. It's pretty much two pieces of art, just repeat it. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. All right, so, okay, it's very merchy, but let's go into Pinterest maybe and see if we can find some older, like vintage, like tour t-shirts. That's what I have in mind. Like some really rad, like freaking, like raw and grungy graphics. Jump into Pinterest, maybe ACDC vintage t-shirt would probably be a better search. Bam, bam, bam. Oh man, let's go. What can we do, yo? What y'all got? Okay, let's start here. Maybe the algorithms could pick up some cool stuff, you know? Oof. All right. All right, we got one. I'll just drag it into my file. Boop. Keep that there. Go back. This is looking nice right here. Hells bells. Better. All right. Got my ref. And then, uh, you know, the t-shirt file size, I always go to it's pretty much my standard is 13 inches width by a 16 inch height 300 dpi but for this video i'm working really small just so my computer can you know move a little smoother and no hiccups and stuff like that so i have my ref i'll just stick it all the way up top to make it like all right have my ref here just kind of have them in one layer so i could just flick the eyeball on and off I'm going to go get my elements on unsplash.com now. Unsplash.com is a free stock site. You can get some cool, really high res images there. All right, but so now I'm with the unsplash, got all my images. I grabbed the skull, uh, isolated like flame images. So I'm thinking like this type of vibe right here with the ACDC logo on top and maybe, I don't know, Hell's Bells or maybe like rock and roll as the like subtext. So I'm gonna start with a black backdrop. First thing I'm gonna do is bring in my skull graphic. This will be my hierarchy, the main focus of the t-shirt. So I'm scale it down. We rasterize my layer first, cause in order to use this quick action, uh, remove background, you gotta make sure that your layers rasterize. And to do that, we're gonna go to properties and the quick action here is remove background. And it normally does a good job on cutting the image out and it and it did. Um, let me just check it. I still kind of want to clean it up here. So I'm just going to do that manually. Go into the mask layer. B is the quick key for a uh, brush. So I want to make sure it's a hard edge brush. All right, that's good. I just want to brush this in a little bit. Just clean it up. And I'm just bring that back in and then that, that looks good turn this layer back on okay so first thing i'm going to do is treat the skull and to do that i'm going to go to filter camera raw filter now, it's really no set setting it's just really playing around with it until you until something feels good so i just like randomly just like go down the sliders and like just bump up stuff like the blacks and the highlights maybe the clarity you see how that brings all that all that detail out that's what i want then i want to go into the detail and sharpen it up maybe i'll go back to the blacks and just make it a little darker let me see and yeah that's good right there so i'm good with that hit okay sometimes i like to beef up the, the filter uh, with just like copying that layer and playing around with the blending modes and i think linear light is the winner that looks sick another step i normally take is i'll go to the channels panel 
and then I'll hold down command and I'll just click through all the channels. I'm holding down command and clicking on the red channel. It'll pick up all the highlights. This is picking up more of the mids. I kind of just want to stick with the highlights. So I'm good with this selection and I'm just going to command C that go back to the layers panel, um, command shift N and that's going to be, that's going to make a new layer on top of that skull layer. And I want to hit command V to paste on top. And now I want to play with the blending modes, see what I get. Just go down the list again. That looks kind of insane, but that's not what I'm going for, but that looks pretty sick. Color burn. Yeah, that's good. I think this layer will kind of benefit us later on. And you'll see when I start adding in the flames and stuff like that, maybe to like cast some color over the skull. Okay, moving on, uh, just select all the layers and I like to put them in a folder. So I'm gonna have all the skull layers in one folder just to try to stay somewhat organized. All right, so now I'm gonna take the skull and just bring it down a little bit. So I'm gonna start adding in the flames. All right, so that's good right here. All right, and then in my libraries, I have all my assets that I pulled from Unsplash. I'm just gonna start pulling some stuff out, see what works. So now I'll just drag this layer out. I wanna bump that up a little bit, scale it up, and then play with the blending modes. And right away, screen is working. So let me bring that back down. Uh, kinda just try to find a position for this. I might wanna play with the, the liquify tool. So just to get some more movement. So that's just going to that's just going to filter, liquefy, get on that. And then now, just bring this down a little bit and I think it's the smudge, so it's the first tool right here. And I kinda just wanna like, you know what? Let me bring up the pressure. There you go. So I'm just really just like moving it around just to get something, just to make it look a little bit more natural. Uh, there you go. I'll do that. See what that does. Yeah, it's okay. Could be better, but it's all right. You get what I'm trying to do. That's looking cool right there. Let me mess with the levels on this layer because it's just kind of washed out black here. That's showing up. So that's just uh, hitting Command L and then bringing up the blacks. Maybe the mids too. See what that does. Yeah, that's cool. That's looking kind of sick. Let me bring that up a little bit. I like how it's coming out the eye right here. So I like that position. Um, yeah, that's cool. Um, let me rasterize this. So I'm gonna give it a mask and just like kind of get rid of all the excess black from that layer. So that's just me uh using a selection tool quick selection tool so i'll just make a quick selection all right give it a mask so that's good all right bring back the skull i kind of want to sandwich the skull with the flames so making a copy of that layer and sending it to back behind the skull and then like playing around with the position. Just brush that in a little bit. And now I have this other layer and it's this one. This one's kind of wicked and I like that. So really I just need like this part right here. All right, so that's good. Let me bump up the levels, command L, get rid of that washed up black. And I think that's good right there. And then with the lasso tool, I just wanna select this part, I don't need it, and just delete it. Oh, first rasterize. Yep, there you go, get rid of that. And maybe I wanna copy this again and then bring it all the way up top and just like make it really small just to give it some little detail. Let's 
sickening. That's good. Oof. Maybe this little piece I can get rid of. I don't need that. Let me just lasso that out. The lasso tool just hit L. It's the quick key. Make the selection, just hit delete. Just the little details. Then I have this other little little image that I pulled. Um, so let me just make a quick selection on it. Um, let me rasterize this layer before we move on. Hmm. Delete all the excess of that. And here you go. This is where we start adding some little details. It's like very little. I'm just going to put a couple of these up right here. So I got that. So, you know, I kind of, I'm kind of all right with this. Put all those little details on one folder. Again, trying to stay organized. Um, so let me show y'all something. I like to play around with the, the color uh, lookup presets. And that's just going into your adjustment layers. Uh, color lookup. Uh, go to the properties panel. It's this first bar right here. Just kind of want to scroll down and see what you get. I normally just go through all of them and see what stands out. That's crazy. This is kind of sick. Film stop. Remember that. That one looks cool. Film stop. And all these other ones. Fuji. Nah. nah. Kodak. Kodak 5205 look kind of insane. And Kodak 5218 looks insane. Yeah, I think I'm right here. I'm like right here, man. That looks pretty tough. Um, maybe add some more little, little details over here. It feels like it needs something. Maybe right here. So what I want to do, I just want to kind of add some like dark areas. I just want to go behind the skull layer, add a new layer right here. And then just kind of use a black brush with a soft brush, kind of brush in some kind of like darkness just to give some kind of depth, you know? Kind of make another layer up top, all the way up top. And just kind of brush in dark areas and then use the blending modes. Just that one overlay looks good. Yeah, the overlay one looks good. All right, just made it a little darker right there. I just felt like it needed something here. So yeah, so now um, that looks pretty insane. Maybe if I turn it a little bit more. What y'all think? Tell me. So let's bring in the logo. I just went on Google and uh, typed in uh, ACDC logo vector file. Came up right away. I want to make it red. It's a color overlay. Make it red. And now I want to give it like, kind of want to make it like an embossed, like graphic style effect to it. Um, so I'm going to go into my blending options and go into bevel and boss and right. Oh, wow. Let me reset this, man. This is from my last graphic reset that that was looking kind of sick though. All right. Now, so no set setting for this. Um, it's just like messing around with it until something feels good. Uh, but definitely enter inner bevel just give it a bevel and boss and go to inner bevel and start playing with the slides um then up looks like up is good and this right here this is my highlight so see how it gets bright on the edges it's my highlights i want to make that white so i want it to bust out like that and then 
these are my shadows and I kind of want to make this small this size smaller so I'll go back to the size see how like it brings it down and that's, that's I like the way that's looking let's see if we give it a stroke what happens if we give it a stroke like it but it's too much let me bring down the stroke the position of the stroke be outside and that looks insane let me bring up the size so the stroke really did help i think it looks amazing um now drop shadow i just want to separate the text from the background so that's just giving it a drop shadow you see that'll come up and then i want to bump up the distance and then bump up the size to fade it out like that and you see how it just like kind of sticks out and that's what i want i want that let's go crazy let's see what happens if i give it a satin overlay and i don't know what it did but let me just zoom up i don't know it's a little something let me see if i bump up the opacity and the white mm. All right, let's make it darker. I don't know, it gives it a little bit of texture. I'm not mad at that. I mean, let's play with the contours too. Contours will give you some really cool effects. Yeah, I think that's, this is cool. It just gives it like a little bit of texture and I'm not mad at that. Can't be mad at a little bit of texture. Right, it just kind of amplifies the, the graphic a little bit, y'all. All right, that's that's looking pretty dope. Um, but I kind of want some flames to go up and overlap the logo, so I'm just gonna drag that right into my flames or well, behind my flames layer. See, it kind of gives it like a little overlap. Let me drag it into behind the other one. That's all I need. I don't need that much. It's just enough to like know that it's going a little bit over. And that's cool. I like that. Let's let it snap right there. So I think this looks all right. And you know what's going to bump this up even more? The texture I'm about to give this joint. Watch. So I pulled some textures, unsplash. Make sure it's all the way up top. And now we can start playing with the blending modes. Um, see what we get. Multiply, color burn already might be it. Linear burn gives it like a really vintage look. So I like that. That looks cool. It kind of looks like a poster. I might put that in my back pocket for later on. So, oh, that looks, this, Yo, this looks like if this was almost like on a tie dye shirt, like, so I'm gonna put this in my back pocket too. So it could be a tie dye t-shirt, a poster. You can make a tote out of this. Insane. I was thinking about the subtext and I think it kind of looks good like this. I'll get a better feel for it once it's catted. If it needs a foundation, like a subtext, then I'll put it on, but I think it'll be all right. So I like the way this look. It kind of, it kind of do remind me of like some really old vintage uh, rock t-shirt. So pulling up my references and looking at my graphic that we just made, I kind of get the same vibes. So I'm happy with it. I think next steps to cat it. Let me screenshot it uh, just real quick and place it on the body. This one is a vintage style CAD from Fuller Mo. Ever since I downloaded these CADs, I've been using them for my vintage style t-shirts just because it has like that raw washed up look and I love that. And what I tell you, boom, let me play with the blending modes, lighten. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with it. It looks insane. What y'all think? If you guys like what I did here, hit the like button, leave a comment. I would like to know what y'all think about this. This is our final product. So until next time, see y'all later.